Hey guys, dinner tonight is going to be lasagna, but I am going to make it completely from scratch. I'm actually making my own pasta. So here's my sauce that's going to get going. And I should have taken these out earlier. They're frozen, but there's the meat. But for my birthday, I had gotten a pasta machine from the boys. I haven't opened it yet. So, I'm going to make my own lasagna noodles. So, in one of my previous videos, you obviously saw me make my own pasta. It's going to be the same thing, but now we're just running it through a machine to really get it nice and thin, get the thin layers going. Um, so, I got the meat going. I'm going to get the sauce going. And I only have a little ricotta left, so I'm going to do the bechamel. So, this is going to be a bechamel lasagna so for the sauce I have let me turn on the fire over here I have olive oil and this is colavita this is from uh, I believe I got this from Costco um, I like that black bottled one from Italy and this was the only one that they had um, I didn't get the big you know uh, Kirkland one which next time I should because Kirkland brand olive oil extra virgin olive oil actually did get some good ratings um, so some olive oil that heats up I'm gonna throw some onions in it that I that I diced and some garlic still working on that mammoth thing of garlic from Costco Got a little sizzle going. Let's put a little salt. Okay, and then the garlic. About two or three cloves worth. Ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> So when I don't have this minced garlic from Costco, I actually like to just smash the garlic cloves and throw them in whole. Um, so I've made so, mon so many different sauces over the years, um, different brands of canned tomatoes. Homegrown tomatoes has always been the best. Uh, and even bumping that flavor up, roasted homegrown tomatoes have been the best. But in my adventures of trying the San Marzano, peeled tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, so far the boys have loved this the best. The Del Fratelli uh, Fire Roasted Crushed Tomatoes. Now you can't find fire roasted and crushed that much. And these are non-GMO tomatoes. I wish they were organic, but at least they're non-GMO. Um, these were on sale for $1.87 at Publix. I guess normal price is like three something a can or two fifty a can. So not too bad in price. Um, so I've been stocking up when they're on sale for $1.87. They have a darker coloring to them. And so far, the boys, from the first time I use these tomatoes, they've noticed a difference, and they say that this sauce is the best. Ooh, my hand's a little greasy. So I'm just going to pour those in and then let it simmer away. There's not a lot of water content. There's a lot, a lot more tomato content to these, so I noticed that I really don't have to have it simmering all day like um, peeled tomatoes or homegrown because of the water content. And I guess that gives it a even richer flavor. I noticed the crushed tomatoes give it a richer flavor than whole peeled tomatoes. Um, I guess because there's just more tomato and less water. So I'm just gonna let that simmer. My meat's going and then I'll work on the pasta. So I moved it to the back burner and I have some dry basil here that's from my garden. So I'm going to put a small amount in there, oopsie, let it simmer. That's good. 
So now I'm gonna make pasta, which I've done in the video, but I'm gonna do it again. Semolina flour, no measurements. There we go. Oops. Okay. Some salt. I have kosher salt because I haven't gone to Costco in a while and um, I need to get more pink Himalayan sea salt. I'm putting like what? Half a teaspoon. Water. Make a well. Make a mess. <laughs> okay. And I just keep adding it until I get a consistency of Play Doh. I need, I need a slotted cup. Jeez. Okay. Well, oops, there you go. And I'm just gonna work it, bring it together, more water, there you go. So I'm gonna keep doing this until I get a consistency of Play-Doh. I hope that's enough, but it's like Play-Doh. So I'm just gonna let it sit here. I got a wet towel. Let that sit there while the meat's cooking and then I'm gonna open up the pasta box maker and see how to work it. There it is. Yep. The boys wanted homemade pasta, so that was my birthday gift. Look at that. Okay. Right. So this piece, so I can close there. And it looks like there's like three settings. This one looks flat, this one looks like fettuccine, and this one looks like spaghetti. And then this handle, you could either put it here for the spaghetti, here for the fettuccine, or I mean here for the lasagna, here for the fettuccine, or here. I'm just showing you that. Okay, here. Come on. For the spaghetti. So we're gonna do here the lasagna. And then here you could just attach it to the counter. Nice. So that's not frozen anymore. So let's put some garlic. We still have some onions. And let's put some salt. Thank you. And the sauce is all bubbly. Oh, let me show you. All bubbling. So I'm gonna add some sauce to the meat. So I have my meat sauce for the lasagna. And then I gotta do the bechamel. So that's almost done. That's all set up. 
Isn't that cool? I have nowhere to put the noodles, so I have to wait until I'm actually ready to assemble the lasagna to start making those. I put meat, I mean, sorry, I put sauce in the meat. So now that's my meat sauce. And now I got a pot here to do the bechamel. So you need to start off by making a roux. So equal parts of butter and flour. About two tablespoons of butter, maybe three. Let that melt. And then Yep, I might need more butter. Butter. So come on. So there it incorporated. Ooh. Put the flame up a little more. Okay. Then you add milk. And I'll pull about two cups. And then you're going to whisk it and it's going to thicken. So now that the pot is hot and the milk is hot, it's starting to thicken a little bit. You can feel it on the bottom. Got to be careful because if you just leave it, it can burn. It is milk. So you keep whisking it until it gets th thicker. Okay. And this becomes like a cheese sauce when you don't have ricotta. Now it's really getting thicker. I don't know if you can see that, but texture has definitely thickened up. Like a cheese sauce. Oopsie, look how thick it is now. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off. There we go. And I'm going to get ready to make the noodles. So I had some galbani. I'll show you that later. Uh, cheese, so I needed to use that up, so I sliced it. I have some leftover provolone and some fresh mozz. So I'm gonna use that as my cheeses. And let's get this baby going. First thing I'm gonna do is put some sauce on the bottom of the pan. So let's put some sauce so that it's ready for the lasagna later, late layer. Sorry about that. The noodle layer. Um, my oven is preheated to 360, 375 in your oven, but mine is working at 360, so I ain't touching it. And then I'm gonna start doing this. So we're gonna take a piece. See how this works. Flatten it a little bit. Get it in there. Start turning. Whoa. Ooh. That needs to be tighter. <laughs> Real life, huh? Turn it. Ooh, look at that. Whoa. But we want it thinner. Oh, this must be a dial on this side. Sing. Put it in again. There it goes. Thinner. It's getting there. Wow. Mm 
I need it really thin. How does this go? Go with this one. It's not getting that thin. I gotta look at this. There's, there's some dials here, some numbers. I don't know what that says. There's a seven, but it did come out thinner. It broke a little bit, but I'm gonna work on it. So I got the dial that it's supposed to, and see it came out so much thinner. I'm gonna put that over there. It broke a little bit, but but now, there it goes. Look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so excited. So there's the first layer. Look at that. So I'm going to add meat, the meat layer, oops, well, that's a lot of meat, okay, my boys like the meat, okay. So now I gotta do another layer of noodles. Look at that. I'm having a lot of fun here. So look how thick this got. So the bechamel layer is next. A little more. Look at that. Now, some people put nutmeg in their bechamel. We're not a fan of that flavor in our lasagna. We like it in the savory stuff. Um, I might actually throw some cheese in there. Just so that it's ooey gooey. Oh, that one's really thick. Oh, that's thick too. Okay. Let's put just some slices of cheese. So I put it on the lowest setting. Get in the hang of this. Put it in. Oops. Wait a minute. Nope, oh, that's not the lowest. Okay, that's the lowest. Let me do it again. See? Error. Okay. I notice you gotta go slow. You can't go too fast. Oh, why does it keep breaking? Okay. I saw someone like, you know, you fold it and run it like twice. 
There we go. Okay, now go up a notch. We always have the option. Fold. Next one. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Let's fold it again. I guess it strengthens it. Oops. My drawers are right there, so it prevents me from really turning that screw in. Okay. And now the last one. Where it gets really thin. Wow. Oops. See, and then with these sheets, you could do ravioli or tortellini if you're adventurous. Yep. And then meat sauce again. Meat layer, sorry. As I was looking at the meat sauce. John's watching The Sopranos, so if you hear any profanity, I apologize. There you go. In the mix of Italian. Yep, this is going to be a meaty one. I probably didn't even... Yeah, that was only two pounds. Okay, so there's the meat layer. Let me do another lasagna layer, and then you top it with cheese. Last layer, and that was the last of my dough. So I measured perfectly without even measuring. We're gonna put the rest of the bechamel. I'm gonna need two hands for this. I don't have a lot of bechamel. Um, I am gonna top it with sauce, because the noodles do have to cook. So they cook mostly in the sauce. So let's top it with sauce. Lots of sauce. Whoa, oops, sorry about that. And then we're gonna top it with cheese. So I'm just gonna top it with all this cheese I have. Provolone, mozzarella, and fresh mozzarella. There it is. Not very pretty. I'm gonna stick it in the oven. It's gonna cook probably for like 30, 40 minutes. Um, I think homemade noodles cook faster than the dry noodles. Um, but yeah, stick it in, let it cook. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I got some broccoli micro steaming. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. <laughs> That's dinner tonight.